Monday morning manicures. It's me, Lily. And this is not my sexy voice, I promise. I'm just sick, so bear with me. But I wanted to show you how I put my jams on. First, you have to have two kids on the table. This is a very important part. One can be dressed, one can still be in their PJs, that's fine. <laughs> but they should be busy. Then you need to make sure you push oh, your cuticles oh, back. Oh, I'm done. I, I'm done. Bring down more of my PJs. Oh, that's good timing. Why don't you go get your jeans and your shirt? And we can do that at the same time. No. In my room. You go and bring them out here. No. <laughs> okay, pause. Okay, so once you get everybody in their proper clothes, <clears throat> then you need to find wraps that fit your fingers. So I'm going to start with my pinky finger. Looks kind of like my Coke nail right now. It's the only one that grows. Find a wrap that kind of fits the cuticle. Smaller is okay. No one will notice. It's too small. <clears throat> this is how I do it. Some people use their orange sticks. Then you need to heat it up. Three to five seconds should be plenty. But you just wait until it kind of starts to look pliable. Hopefully it'll curl a little bit eventually for us. But sometimes when it's on the stickers or uh, scissors, it doesn't do that. And then you just lay it on your nail. I'm so good at this part. So good at this part. <laughs> Push it down, lots of pressure, heat it up again, <clears throat> try to make sure it doesn't touch your cuticle so if you need to you can push the cuticle back away from the wrap a little bit. <clears throat> it might lift if it touches your cuticle because you're going to get all sorts of your finger oils on the adhesive. And then you're going to hang out for a little while, you can go on to your next finger if you want. Again, find a wrap that fits. <clears throat> I'll show you how I used to do it before I had my fancy little heater. Follow me. You go to your very unclean oven. <laughs> Turn a burner on high. And heat it up right over your stove. Why not? There, it's curling a little bit. It's because the oven gets a lot hotter than your little mini heater does. I hope you're better at this than I am. <laughs> Try not to touch the underside of the wrap, but I have a lot of excess and I didn't get it very good, so I'm going to reheat it, peel it off, and try to re-stick it in a more centered way. Heat it up again. <laughs> Make sure the kids are still busy. Check. And you have two nails done. We're ready to finish these off. So first you're going to trim them down a quarter of an inch away. I'm really bad with measurements. So a ways away. Reheat them. Kind of bend them over your nail a little bit. Holy hotness on my other finger. These things get hot. And then wait for them to cool. Tell me how to do it. Rub it like this. Rub it like this. Okay, tell me if I'm doing it right. Is that right? Hmm? Then what happens? Then you do all of these. All of them? Okay, thank you. And Evan's right. So next I file. I'm kind of bending them over a little bit, if you can see. And my file is not working very well today. And Briggs is being really patient. Mom, get 
on my goopy eye. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll help you with your goopy eye. You know what's great about these nails is that I can't help him with his goopy eye because I don't have to sit here for 30 minutes while polish dries. Then it's going to start to fall off like this. Just file the piece that's still attached. Mom's like, get on my goopy eye! Oh no, we're about to have a meltdown! Is it off yet, Evan? No. Okay, let's get your... So Briggs and I forgot the best part. That's when your jams are done. All finished. <laughs> now go change your poopy diapers, scrape up auto poop, feed tigers, or whatever it is that you do on a normal basis, basis in your jam berries, and look good doing it.